Hey girl, and welcome back to 31 Days of Halloween. So today we are going to do the cover of Sounds of the Lambs, which is one of my all-time favorite movies. Right now I'm just showing you that I slicked my hair back because I thought I would give it more of a creepier look. First I'm going to go in with the Too Faced sketch marker, and I'm just going to apply two little dots where the moth's wings are going to line up, just to give you a little bit of information about the moth that's on the mouth. It's called a Death Head hawk moth which is typically known as death's head moth and for the simple fact because on its thorax it has the illusion of a skull but actually on the movie poster if you actually zoom in it's a whole bunch of naked bodies that makes the skull we're not going to go that in depth i'm just going to draw a skull on the moth's body which will be really simple and easy and also the movie did come out in 1991 and I'm sure you all have seen it, and if you haven't, I think you should, because Sir Anthony Hopkins is an amazing actor, along with Jodie Foster. Now I'm going to go in with my beloved Makeup Forever Flash Palette. I'm taking the brown shade, the yellow shade, the black shade, and the gold shade. And I'm going to be applying these colors to the moth's wings. And I'm not going to go in any order because when you look at the picture, the moth's wings are in such great detail that sometimes it's really hard to create that look. So I'm just going to go in and style it the way I want to and almost try to get it something somewhat similar to the wings of the moth. Now I'm going to take some of that yellow and I'm just applying it in a stippling motion because I find that gives texture to the wings and almost makes the wings look more realistic. Now for the bottom part of the wings, I'm just taking some of that brown and I'm applying it in a sweeping upwards motion because once again, that really gives a realistic touch to the wings. Now I'm going to go with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I am going to be applying this to the skull. I just find that going in with a nice lighter color kind of makes it, the skull look extremely realistic and it just makes that pop in the center of your lips. To set that concealer, I'm going in with the Essence All About Matte Powder, and I just applied a little bit to my finger, and I'm just going to set that concealer. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now I'm going to go in with the Too Faced sketch marker once again and I'm going to draw the nose and the mouth of the skull because when I was applying the concealer I did go over it. I just found it a lot easier instead of trying to work your way around the nose of the skull and the mouth. give the skull more detail I am going in with a brown shade from the Makeup Forever Flash Palette then I went ahead off camera and I did go in and applied my Kat Von D Lacquer Foundation in the shade Light. Now I'm just going to go ahead and finish off the rest of the details before the mall. Now I'm going to be going in with the black from the Sephora Pro Editorial Palette and just to add some shadow and depth to the wings, I'm just going to be applying this underneath the wings along the side of the wings just to make it look like the moth actually landed on my mouth. I find that by adding some shadow to it, it gives it more of a realistic look. Now I'm going to take the white from the Makeup Forever Flash Palette. I am applying this to my waterline because I'm going to black out any color. I'm going to make myself look super pale. And you all know that I had to do Sons of the Lambs for my 31 Days of Halloween because it's an all-time classic movie. If you guys go ahead and recreate this, don't forget to tag me. I would love to see what you guys come up with. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.